Bloomers World is a women's ministry for women of all ages that imparts, inspires, uplifts, motivates and challenges us to become women of excellence that our God has created us to be. Join B.C. Dalahi every Monday night from 8 p.m. to 8 5 p.m. UK time at PRZ 109.2 FM as we discuss how women of excellence in Bible times rose above their challenges to fulfill destiny and left legacies for others coming behind. Bible says these things happen to them as examples for us, and they were written for our instructions. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 these women overcame their circumstances, they subdued their enemies and became more than conquerors. Join us every Monday night, 8 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Be inspired and take the step to living an overcomer's life. Be inspired indeed. Be inspired and live an overcomer's life. Women are the first witnesses to the resurrection and pillars of the early church. That was said by John Otsberg. And also there was there is a common saying that is normally say that behind any successful man there is a woman, either his mother or his wife. Behind every successful commission or ministry is a group of praying women, intercessors and prayer warriors women's contributions and inputs in spiritual world cannot be overemphasized that's said by me my honorable self women should indeed celebrate jesus more than any other gender and not only at easter period because jesus value he values women he is not partial and does not underestimate women's efforts. He seizes, he seizes women as great communicators and reliable workers. Jesus trusted women and appeared to them first after his resurrection. Not only that, he gave them assignments to spread the good news. And guess what? We have never failed him and we will not fail him in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you are doing, either at home, at your workplace, in the church, where you are placed, any position you occupy, and wherever, just make sure that an authority this is what you are doing. Welcome to Bloomer's World. Thank you for joining me and thank you for adding value to my program. We add value to whatever you are involved with in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're listening to BC Telabi. Let's bow our heads and welcome the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for creating us as women. We thank you for the positions you have placed us. We thank you for having given us the confidence and entrusting us with the great assignment. I pray in the name above all names that we will not fail you. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the power of resurrection. May this power find fulfillment in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Holy Spirit, help us to love ourselves. To be humble just as you are for the positions and places you have placed us as we await our next levels. Father, thank you for using me as your vessel. I am very grateful. Thank you for all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Women followed Jesus while he was on the earth as a son of man he had to be son of man so he could feel for me and you so women followed him because they needed a touch from him for their needs 
Some followed him to show their appreciation for their healing. Some followed them because they perceived that they are part of his journey on earth. And some followed them because they needed to support him and take care of him out of their own means, financially, their time, and to shower him, to shower him with love. Don't we all need that? Only some women were mentioned. Not all of them were mentioned by their names, some by their acts, and some were just mentioned as women. This is not stop them to perform what they are called to do, the input in Jesus' life while he was on earth, to fulfill and to support him, to fulfill his destiny and his calling. I pray your destiny helpers will not pass you by because of the because of title or position that you have not given them or acknowledged or recognize them as they are. Do you know that some people might withhold whatever they want to give you because you don't recognize them? For one thing or other, maybe they, maybe, maybe because they're wealthy, or maybe they hold titles, pastors, whatever. Even at your places of work, people wants, people want you to recognize them. Managers, team leaders, they want you to, you know, just to acknowledge that. But I pray in Jesus' mighty name that your destiny help us. They will not pass you by because of that. So this topic is Jesus' women, the movers and shakers. This program is presented to you by the Bloomers World at Prayer Valley Zone Radio 109.2 FM with BC Talabi. Our women of excellence today is based on significant women that added value to Jesus' ministry. And now just concentrate on Luke 24, verse 10. There are other verses, the Gospels, they all talk about Jesus, the G Jesus' women, what they did. Even in the Old Testament, we had people, there was no, there was no, they didn't know, they, kn they knew about God then, but they knew something as the Spirit that leads them. And they believed in the prophets, that was in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, they knew Jesus and some followed him. They followed him physically while he was on earth. So all the books of the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, have their own accounts of the events leading to Jesus' death and resurrection. Today, I'll be discussing mainly Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Steward, Susanna, Mary and Martha, that is spiritual versus practical and Mary Magdalene when Jesus was on on the earth many women in different categories followed him as he was and he was able to fulfill his destiny as I said earlier Do you know they added value they added value to his ministry they added value to his calling who are you adding value to? Who are you lifting up? Who are you helping to fulfill her destiny? To add value means making something out of nothing using human effort and resourcefulness. See? And imagination, resourcefulness, financially, spiritually, everything that is possible, that is imaginable, that is adding value to. You add value to things, adding color by filling spaces and gaps so there won't be bumpy areas. They added value to Jesus' ministry on earth. These women they did. We have them in different categories. I'll just go 
just touch about a few of them tonight. We have Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was there at his birth and on his death. At his death, at his birth, Mary was told the angel told her what will happen with this child that she was going to have. She knew. She knew what was going to happen to him. She knew that he was different. But don't we all, when we are expecting, you just want to have that child. At his death, she was there as well. But however, there were women. Women stood with her at the cross while she was looking at her son. She was not alone. Alone. So people were with her. Even in that state that Jesus was on the cross, he made provision. He made provision for somebody to look after his mom when he's gone. And there were women, the unknown women. They didn't mention their names. They only mentioned the acts, what happened to them, that Jesus healed. We have the bent over woman. We have the woman that touched his garment. And we have lots of them that Jesus healed. They, that they didn't mention their names. They mentioned the miracle and the healing that took place. We have models. Faith models. Models of faith women. Those are Jesus examples. Like the widow of Zarephath. That is the Old Testament. The widow of Zarephath. We have the persistent widow. And we have the widow that gave her last offering. Her last coin. We have those ones that Jesus used to talk about faith. We have women as well that Jesus valued. Jesus valued them. You know, in that at that time, women were looked down. They were looked down at. They don't talk. Nobody hears their voices. But when Jesus was around, he valued them. So, all the things that men should have done with him, like raising the dead, like Lazarus, when Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead, he handed him over to Mary and Martha, his sisters. He valued them. He valued women. Then we have women that anointed Jesus, which is sacrificial love. They anticipated Jesus' death and resurrection. And we have Mary, who anointed him as well. The only repentant sinner. Those are the women that anointed him. Then we have the women that saw him first. Uh, the witnesses after resurrection. Jesus gave the women the privilege of proclaiming his resurrection. And communicating his intention to the apostles. Oh my God. Jesus did all this for just these few categories of women that I've mentioned. We have we have lots of them in the Bible. What a great privilege. Just to be going about. Can you imagine? Just going about with Jesus. Huh? Going about with the I don't know what I can't I can't I can't explain. I can't even I can't, I, I can't imagine, I can't use anybody like going about with them because it was just so much. I would have loved to be going about with Jesus. And in all occasions, while Jesus was on the earth, Jesus was always reaching out to women, even and appreciating them, even at that time when nobody, when they don't listen to women. So all the categories of these women, we still have them. They are still ramparts in our midst today. And that is why we are following the footsteps of the women of excellence in the Bible. Because what happened then is still happening up to now. Women are still looked down. They are still looked down at in some cultures and some countries. But Jesus recognized them. 
whatever you are doing be rest assured and know that Jesus appreciates your efforts and your input in whatever you are doing at your place of work in your church even in the family settings you will surely come across some people that won't appreciate what you are doing that won't acknowledge what you are doing even if you like labor from morning till night they won't see anything you are doing so but don't be put off by them by their lack of appreciation let good work be seen by god and jesus not men you will surely be rewarded in the end your efforts your inputs the value that you added will be seen by all it will speak for you yeah many women they follow jesus many women then they follow them when he started his ministry they followed him when he started talking they started following him you cannot fulfill your destiny alone you need helpers of destiny you need people to support you just like these women supported jesus and his apostles his disciples we actually need each other to fulfill our destinies your helpers of destiny they will not forsake you because of titles jesus is not mentioned many people many of the women by names still they supported him they supported him what he was doing this category of women we can learn from them we really have a lot to learn from them what can we learn from them you are listening to the bloomers world at prayer realism radio 109.2 fm with bc talabi our women of excellence tonight are jesus's women as i said bloomers world is for all ladies single married divorced young or old bloomers world is a women's ministry we aspire to inspire so women will not expire before their time we aspire to motivate to empower and to lift the next woman up and we are following the footsteps of the women of excellence in the bible each woman in the bible represents a challenge today's challenge each woman in the bible and we try to find today's solutions to to today's challenges from the women of excellence in the bible we are blessed to be a blessing and the bible is still speaking to us up till today the bible is the same yesterday today and it will be forever and ever in jesus mighty name the essence of a bloomer is to overcome and be an overcomer it's time for you to lift the next woman next to you up to add value to that woman's life a woman that knows her worth doesn't measure herself against another woman but stand strong calm and self-confident that was said by alec ice so jesus's women what can we learn from them they following jesus might be costly following your destiny or fulfilling your destiny might be costly as well so let's start with mary the mother of jesus as i said earlier she gave birth to jesus she not told him she kept everything she noticed about him in her heart and what she was told even before he was born but jesus had to go on the cross i believed nothing will have comforted her saying her son on the cross and later nailed to the cross no mother will look at will look at that and say oh that's okay 
I don't think so. My heart bleeds for her. But she was part of his destiny. She was there for him so he could fulfill his destiny. And in addition, Jesus as well made provision for her to be cared for when he is gone. The pain, the pain of seeing one's child on the cross, destiny must be fulfilled. That's a cost. Mary, mother of Jesus, paid because destiny, his destiny must be fulfilled. The unknown women, the women that the society has condemned, the women that cannot stand up, the women that cannot look up, the women that were knocked down by shame, not by their own doing. Women in hopeless situations. But Jesus came, he rescued them. They were part of his destiny. They were not named, but were mentioned. That was their own cost. Models of faith women. The women who does not mind sharing their last rollo, sharing their last cake, last piece of cake. Confident women. These women, they know that their jars of oil will not run empty because faithful is he that has called them to be part of his destiny. The poor woman that gave her last coin, the alabaster woman, she broke the expensive jar and anointed Jesus. That is the cause of following Jesus for her. The women that Jesus valued, raising of the dead and handing them over to women. Women that knows they have an advocate. An advocate speaking on their behalf. Jesus had their cries. No male ego. No male ego here. They were all women. Jesus valued their input in his ministry. He brought them to attention. He brought them. He brought them to attention. He put the spotlight on them. Because he raised the dead up and handed them to the women, not the men. Oh, give it us. Oh my God. And the media, they went here wild. It's your turn to this woman. It's your turn to shine. It's your turn. Because you have an advocate. Whatever you are going through, you have an advocate that will speak for you. The women that anointed Jesus, that is sacrificial love. You know, women can see and perceive things easily. They perceive, they anticipated Jesus' death. Women can see through. They can force, they can see what will happen before it happens. These are the women that said Jesus because they perceived that he needed to smell nice. He needed when he comes out not to smell, not for flies to follow him. He needed to be whoa, you know, that fresh breath. He needed it. He needed it. So Jesus, the women anointed him before and after he died. Loving beyond the surface. We need to know. We need to learn to perceive. Time will fail me if I continue to mention all the women. But one more group, one more group that we need to learn from. 
Those are the women that ministered with him. And the women that saw Jesus after resurrection. The witnesses. Jesus recognized them and announced them. He appeared to the women first. The men didn't they didn't even believe. Even when the women told them, oh, as usual, they didn't believe. But they have to go there themselves to confirm that Jesus has risen. They have to visit the tomb, the tomb by themselves. And they realize. Then they have to go back to the women. And in I just remembered Manoah, Manoah's Manoah's wife when she told him and that about the child that the angel said they will be having. This man didn't believe her. He believed the wife. He said, What angel? Okay. Let the angel come back and tell me again. Until the angel came again. And he asked. And trust what the angel said this what I've told that woman is what will happen. So the women told them they didn't believe. Until they went back themselves. Women are carriers of good news, great news. Jesus saw. Jesus can see what is happening to you in that corner. He see what you are going through. He see that that person is not believing you. That manager, that husband, that brother, that child. He knows that they are not believing you. But they will come back and believe you when they see the light. Jesus added value to them all. And that is why Jesus used women to spread the good news. Jesus' women, they were kind. They had hope. They believed in him. And he did not disappoint them. He recognized and acknowledged them. You too can be Jesus' woman with confidence that he will not fail you. Be part of the movers and shakers of Jesus' ministry by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior if you do not know him. May I take this opportunity to invite you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. May I? The Jesus that blesses and adds no sorrow, that adds value and make life colorful. May I encourage you to accept him today. It is only by his grace that you can be saved. If you've backslidden, it's time for you to come back. Please join me and return back to Jesus. And if you are ready, tell after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Have mercy on me and forgive me of my sins and all that I have done against you. I surrender my life to you today. Father, thank you for dying for me and for away my sins on the cross. I surrender my life to you today. Be my Lord and Savior. Father, help me to make wise decisions that we honor you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please find a living church near you and let them know that you have just accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please read the Bible daily and learn to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. He's a friend in need. Call on him. You can send us as well if you want us to share in your joy. The bloomers.world at przfm.com. Thank you for accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hillary Clinton said, It is often when night looks darkest, it is often before the fever breaks that one seizes, senses the gathering momentum for change. When one feels that resurrection of hope in the midst of despair and apathy. That is when you need to know that it's time for a change. It's time for a change for you to add value to your life. 
do not be weary in doing good. Any position you are holding at the moment is for a purpose. Your talent, your gift, whatever you are doing, your finance, even them, is for you to be a blessing to someone else. I just remember, you know, when you were um, the presenter on Premier Radio, you know, she's been he's been on Premier Radio for a while. But now, these days, the songs that they sing at the station, you know, if it wasn't there for some songs, some artists, nobody will ever know them. But see how God positioned him there for, for somebody else to add value to somebody else's life. The Lord be grace to add value to somebody else's life. Following Jesus will cost you and will be you will be blessed hundredfold. It may lead to your breakthrough. Follow Jesus. Add value to people. At your place of work. Oh, those people that are undermining you. That's friend. That's brother. That's sister. At church, ignore them. Just learn to add value. We are blessed. Always remember that. We are blessed to be a blessing. Remember that always. The women that followed Jesus. One, they were overcomers. We may experience adversities. But you know, at a point, they have an end. They have expiry dates. Mary, the mother of Jesus, she triumphed. Because Jesus rose from the dead. She is an that could not hold Jesus down. We have to learn to pray as well. Jesus prayed. So who are we not to pray? You will overcome persecution, accusation. It's just for a while. Stay focused. The supporters. Other women, they supported Mary. Mother of Jesus, when he was on the cross and at the graveside, they did not leave her alone. That tells me that we need to support them. Learn to receive and support other women where possible. Mary did not bear the pain alone. Other women lifted her up. A problem shared is a problem that is resolved. No woman. Although they say no man, but no woman is an island. We need each other. Learn to support others. You don't know when it will be your turn that you will need support of others. Then spiritual and practical. Mary and Martha. That is spiritual and practical. Mary, spiritual, Martha, practical. We need both spiritual and practical for our development don't be too spiritual and neglect the needs of other women around you network and have a platform lazarus was a common platform from the sisters that is mary and martha and lazarus and jesus sorry and jesus Jesus was able to discuss death and resurrection while he was with them. Network and have relationships with others. You cannot live alone. You cannot do everything by yourself. You still need somebody created the light. Somebody created the speaker, the speakers I'm using. So we need, we still need the efforts of other people. Network and have relationship. Form relationships. And let the Lord lead you with people that you will associate yourself with. Make an impact. Influence and impact lives. Add value to people. Jesus' followers, the women that followed him and others, they added value and color to his ministry. You know, there was equal opportunities. We were all equal. We are all equal before God. 
no matter what title you hold the coffin is the same size so add value titles are irrelevant be relevant there is something in you that you can use to add value to somebody else positive value influence others in positive ways there's something maybe it's encouragement you can encourage people do something to add value and i have very many and some other women that supported jesus and his disciples she was going about with jesus wherever he goes she goes she did not look back she got involved and was indirectly a leader of the women's apostles we have to learn to put ourselves forward at our places of work we have to learn to acknowledge knowledge from the people that's gone ahead of us we have to learn to have the desire to move forward we did not read in the bible that mary magdalene at any point did she looked back we need to acquire knowledge from others as we as we travel through the journey of life mary magdalene she learned a lot from jesus we need to learn from our leaders our mentors so we can take the next step up many ministries and projects they are dying right now because some people will say they are still waiting to hear from god they are still waiting for the right direction supporting people for a good cause does not need does not does not involve you waiting forever find find um a ministry find a project you can get in, yourself involved with and support them jesus values everybody's contribution everybody's support at your place of work find somebody you can train you can assist you can encourage you can make suggestions too don't say because mm, when i give my suggestion when i give my opinion or oh, when i when i add value to this they won't recognize me don't worry about that because the more the more you share the more that comes out the more jesus will refill you with better ideas and good ideas so add value to somebody else's life and do we have other women that were not named this is not stop them they did not mention them some jesus healed they did not mention them but it did not stop them following jesus titles and name callings they are things of the past jesus sees and knows everyone he sees what we are putting in and how we are adding value to other people and to the kingdom even in churches at your places of work he knows each and every one of us and he knows our intentions and what we are doing let go of eye service whatever you do and show off oh because the pastor is here they must see me the manager is here but do you know exactly is coming oh then you start you pretend as if you are busy well you've not you've not been busy before jesus sees everybody and he will reward us all support where you can support contribute where you can contribute and add value the movers and the shakers the unrelenting women women that doesn't give up that follow jesus they provide him and move this ministry forward they share they give they were given the assignments to go and tell us that jesus christ is alive and they shook the world with their message 
the message of hope. Are you a shaker or are you a mover? And let's look at our actions for today. It's very, very simple. Look for a ministry and get involved with a project or a project for a good cause and support them. Money is not everything. Money is needed, it's a necessity. But it's not everything. You can volunteer your work, you can volunteer your time, your talent, and cost. Do something and add value to people. Mary followed Jesus. She did not back. You can do the same. Mother Teresa said, You don't have to travel to the other side of the world to find opportunities to do something for God. And doing something for God means doing something that is right, something that is good. That was said by Mother Teresa. Women are still knowing Jesus. Women are still proclaiming the word of God. Women are still inviting each other to new ministries, connecting themselves to each other. Without women who will have spread the word of God like wildfire. Tell one more person about Jesus. Today, you have been listening to Bisi Telabi of Bloomers World at Prayer Alison Radio 9.2 FM. Thank you for listening. God will make it possible for you to tune in again. You can join us on Facebook, on Twitter, or by email. May we use as verses of honor for the Master's glory. Thank you for listening. Keep blooming. Inspired and take step to living an overcomer's life.